so my Make Code Arcade game of the week pick for this week is a Space Invaders game by Alex K. So here was Alex's uh, post in the Make Code forum. So you post if you've got a game that you want to get onto the homepage of Make Code Arcade. Post in the forum.makecode.com in the arcade channel there. Uh, and he said that he uh, had a lot of fun building this Space Invaders. Uh, the screen was a little cramped, so he reduced the number of characters on there. Uh, let me launch it in Make Code. So if you click his link, you'll get the, the code and the game view, and then you can hit Edit Code and open it up in your own uh, session of Make Code Arcade. And what I wanted to point out, so let's, let's, uh, let me just run it for a second so you can see it in action. Uh, and you can see, so Alex K has developed some really great extensions to Make Code Arcade that make it uh, possible to use really nice uh, title screens and splash screens and other display stuff uh, as extensions. So I'm going to look at those more in a future segment. But for now, we'll just appreciate that it's there and start the game. So you can see it's a pretty familiar looking Space Invaders. We've got the UFO across the top. We've got the invaders moving. Uh, we have our little um, sort of shields or fortresses as he calls them. And I can shoot one missile at a time. Oh, look out. Got some little effects on there. Um, and what I thought was cool is if you watch this, I've, I've tweaked his code a little bit so it happens sooner. But notice that as I get rid of enemies, they start moving faster. And I wanted to show you how he did that in his code and also how I enabled um, sort of tweaking of that to be easy so that maybe that could be part of your difficulty. See, these guys are, every time I get rid of a couple of them, they're going faster and faster. This is actually going to get pretty challenging just because these guys are cruising so fast, uh, which I, if I recall, actually does happen in the real game. I'm going to get crushed here. Oh, gosh, there we go. Um, so let's take a look in his code. Um, so here's what I've done. I added a variable called set alien K number, which is the number of kills on an alien. And I've set that to four. So let's, let's change that. I'm going to change that to two. So let me zoom up so you can see this well. And so this is the destroy alien function. Uh, and what he's doing is when aliens get destroyed, the, this um, variable called num aliens cur, so that's the current number of aliens, is set to the length of the array of sprites of kind enemy. And that will change as we blow away those sprites. They'll get destroyed, so that number will change. And then there's this if statement here. Let me zoom a little closer even. It says, if the number of aliens current is less than or equal to number aliens next speed up. And so what he originally had was this next block saying, set the current alien pause to the current alien pause divided by two. Uh, so that's slowing, uh, rather speeding up the amount of time that's paused between their little ticks moving sideways. Um, and then set the number of aliens next speed up. So when's this going to happen the next time? He originally had that set to dividing the number of aliens in half. So basically when you cleared half of them, and it's, I think, uh, what do we have, 45 to start. So when you get to half of those, it would speed up. And then when you get half to those, speed up and so on. I decided I wanted it to happen much more quickly, so I changed it to the number of aliens next speed up minus that alien K number, which you saw a moment ago, I changed it to two. Um, so what this means is now, if we go ahead and play this, every time I kill, uh, reduce the number of aliens by two, and I think it might be indexed to zero because it starts off, oh, I'm get shot right away. It starts off at a, I've got to get rid of three of these guys. So I'll get rid of three of them, and now watch them speed up. Let me get rid of a couple more. You can see them speed up. So now every time I get rid of a couple of these aliens, they get going faster and faster. So I'm going to get crushed here really quick. Uh, and uh, I got shot even. Um, it's also got, you're not hearing this, but it's got the nice sort of heartbeat sound. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, I died because they reached the end. Um, so I thought that was a really clever way that Alex had set up his um, speed ups based on reducing the number of aliens. And as you can see in Make Code Arcade, it's pretty simple to go in there and tune it to your liking so that you can get really, really fast, difficult aliens. And so uh, Space Invaders by Alex K on the Microsoft Forum is uh, my game pick of the week. So thank you so much. Awesome game.